All right, so Snake Eyes and Stumbles, right? This is my opinion. I feel like... All right, so first off, let me just keep it 100. I was, I was a fan of both of them talking shit than I was a fan of them as battle rappers first. Let me say that first. I just like Snake Eyes' energy. He'll talk shit to niggas, yell at niggas, get in niggas' faces, cause, you know what I mean, you know, the hype, the views. Same thing for Stumbles. Stumbles got crazy, you know what I mean, with Jake Black. He was talking this shit to me. Um, you know what I mean? My life, not yours. I like both of their characters. I wasn't fans of what they did in the ring. Snake Eyes vs. Twerk made me a fan of what he does in the ring. And Stumbles vs. Real Sick made me a fan of what he does in the ring. So now I could confidently say I'm fans of what they do, you know what I mean, in the battles, outside of the character. So... Shout out, shout out to them for that. Sasha, what's going on? Now, I mean, now with that being said, right? If Snake Eyes comes to the battle like he did versus Twerk, I see it being a classic. If Stumble shows up, no pun intended, and don't stumble like real sick, I see it being a classic. Now, if I had to pick, right? Because that, that, we're not, we not here to do predictions and we don't say who we got winning. If I had to pick, right, I'm going to tell y'all two things. The battle rapper in me, as in DNA, right, because I got two answers for this, right? The battle rapper in me. If I'm betting money, I'm going to bet Snake Eyes because he's. I know he's going to get through his material 100%. I could confidently place a bet on Snake Eyes and say Snake Eyes is going to get through his material so if I had to put money up, I'm going with Snake Eyes because he's going, I mean, get through his material. And I could confidently feel like I could put my bet on it. Stumbles, I haven't seen him get through it clean. But if I'm going line for line, I'm going to go with Stumbles. Now, I mean, that's no slight to Snake Eyes because the shit he was saying versus Twerk was fire. But that shit that, Sn that Stumbles had for real sick, I have not heard lines like that. In a while. Like, we're not talking about your general name flips. We're not talking about your angles. We're talking about straight lines. Like lines. These are lines with no attachment to them. They're not schemes. They're not personal lines. They're not angles. They're not name flips. Like the uh, the GoFundMe, GoFindEm, the fucking um, COVID line. We couldn't cry at them funerals. I was never a morning person. Like, all of them lines right there is like, they can go for anybody. So that's why I'm like, the the professional in me is going to go with Snake Eyes because I believe he can get through it cleaner from what I've seen. I can only go over what I've seen. But if we're talking about material, I mean, I, I would have to go with Stumbles because that material that he had against Real Sick is like, if he gets through that material versus Real Sick clean, he has top three performances in Ultimate Madness 5, hands down alone. And I and I want to say, I want to say top ten performances of the year, if he gets through it clean. These are big what ifs. That's why I'm saying, if I'm if I'm a gambling man like I used to be, my money is on Snake Eyes. But if we just going off of what I'm hearing, then nah, I can't say it was one round though. Too good for this, because he had shit in every round. He was just fucking up. He was just fucking up. Um, what else is on, what else is on there? Um, Kid Slade and Ryder. So I, I hosted this face-off. And notice, notice, I did my predictions after the face-offs. Because, you know what I mean? You tell niggas who you think winning before you do the face-off. <laughs> you might not have no face-off. So, you know what I mean? Shout out to everybody that came up here. Now I can give my opinion. Thank you for coming. Pause. But. This is tricky, right? Because Ryder has more experience, and a lot of people hate on Ryder. But Ryder figures out ways to win. Ryder's actually very versatile. Niggas don't give him credit for that. Because when he first came out, he was punch heavy. I was live for Ryder versus Cortez, and he was punching crazy. The angle shit that he did with Mike P, um, he angles nice too. So I think people don't be giving him his credit. I don't know where the disconnect is with him and the fans and the culture, but whatever. It's something there. But just off a of skill set, he's very, um, 
I don't think people just walk in there and just have a walk in the park with him. If I remember, he battled JC on one of them app events, and that shit was close. So, like, I don't, um... I don't think it's just a walk in the park. Now, the advantages Kid Slade got going for him is he's newer. He gravitates to the fans way better. And you know what I mean? He's on a little run right now where niggas want to see him win. So anytime you're dealing with that, that becomes a little difficult to overcome. Um, I've got this battle being close. I don't I don't think this is just a... Not me and Kid Slade coming there... Walk through Ryder with all the shit Ryder knows. And with Kid Slade being so comfortable within himself, right? Because that's the thing. Kid Slade is very comfortable within himself. So that's hard to defeat. Because you're not, it's, it, when, when somebody's confident in what they're saying or has a lot of confidence within himself, it's not even a battle you have no more. Because it's bigger than a battle. It's, it's can you break this person? If you can't break somebody, that's like it's hard to break somebody that's confident that knows what they're doing that's going to be them no matter what so that doesn't just apply to a battle that implies into real life that means in real life you it's, it's not too many things you can say to this person that is going to get them out of character get them off guard that's the the bigger battle so with that being said i don't see nothing rod is saying that is going to take kid slade out of his own which is part of the battle so i can't say rod is going to clean kid slade um I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm 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 go I'm gonna I'm go with Kiss Slade 2 1. It's gonna be close though. I'm not mad if Ryder wins. And, and, and I'm gonna tell y'all the honest truth. The separation is Ryder diss me. I mean he wants to battle. So when I factor that in, I'm gonna go with Kiss Slade. Amen. Fuck it, right? I mean, I had to, I had to look for something as, I mean, where, where am I leaning towards? That's it. You diss me, you want to battle me? All right, fuck it. I'm going with the other nigga. I'm going with Kid Slade. Now, nah, all joking aside, though, this battle could go either way. I wouldn't be surprised if Ryder gets crazy, um, on Kid Slade. I wouldn't be surprised if it's vice versa. I wouldn't be surprised if it's a preference, debatable, classic battle. But yeah, for now, I'm, I'm gonna go with Slade two one because Ryder, Ryder been dissing me. Um. None, none verse O red. None, none verse O red. This shit is a low. This is one. Like, I mean, none, none. People strongly felt like he got robbed. O red wasn't happy with Calico's decision, and I seen certain people saying that O red, I mean, kind of won. But I seen it way more for none, none. So let's get that straight. Um. This battle is like, it's weird style-wise. Because it's kind of like they do the same thing, but then they don't. I don't know if that makes sense to y'all. Like, they both punch, but it's so, such in a different way. It's not the same as a Av and Rum Nitty. You know what I mean? Because they punch different too, but it's still like boom, 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 same right there. It's a little different with them. And none of them kind of be talking too. Um... Old Red first round versus JC, that was vintage Old Red. If we get that Old Red um, June 18th, it's a problem. Second and third round, I, I personally wasn't, I mean, over, overwhelmed with the rounds. But the first round, vintage Old Red. You know what I mean? So if he, if he got a first round, like he had for JC, I see this being crazy but a lot of people sleep on none 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 is super overrated um underrated i mean let me get that right before somebody quotes it wrong none none is super underrated i feel like a lot of people just are starting to give him his props even though he's been around for a while like he's one of the very few people that even the fans have him and rum nitty being debatable um i mean bc happens the first time on initiation people feel like a lot of people feel like he won on this second one. Um, he was fired against Quest McCody. He 30 Sharon, which is like, I mean, these are like difficult tasks. Like, niggas, Sharon got his marquee name as the, the Sharon, the URL killer. You know what I mean? Coming to URL and this nigga cleared, cleared house with him. Then we talk about somebody, the stature of Rum Nitty. 
and this nigga um has a debatable with him where people are saying he won. So it's like, do you just count him out? Like going those two tasks alone, he has a debatable with JC. Those three alone is like, how do you just clearly go and pick someone to clearly beat none none in the battle? Like, how does that happen? So, with that being said, like as of now, because for me, right, battle rap, battle rap is a um. Is a what have you done for me lately sport, in my opinion. It don't matter about what you did 10 years ago, what you did last year, what you did last month. It's all about what you're doing right now, right? That's how we all, I mean, that's how we all feel. So, right now, I got to put my money on none of Because I've seen more consistency and more great work from him right now. If this was 2018, I would have old red hands down. That's when he won champion of the year. That's when she was um holds the D. She's holding the D like the Dunkin' Donuts door. Now I mean all of that. Yeah, them crazy lines. He was just wilding. Now I mean, but in 2022, I O Red is O Red is one of them guys. I always tell niggas O Red is one of the toughest niggas to beat. One of the toughest niggas to prepare for and write for. But if it's anybody that could crack the code, I feel like right now it would be none. But like I wouldn't be surprised. If O Red won because O Red is O Red, like he solidified Jersey legend. Not I mean like O Red is definitely one of them niggas. Best NBA bars. Not I mean small room monster. All of that, and I'm not mad at anybody that picks him too. I'm just saying based off recent work, I will have to go with none based off recent work. Um, steams in your honor. I told Steams this. We got, mind you, we we coming back with breakfast with the champ on Wednesday. We got um, we got none none. We got Fonz and we got Yaano on. So make sure y'all tune into that at 11 a.m. um Eastern time. But Steams and Yaano, it's a weird matchup for me. Like this is something I wouldn't even under. Like if I was P or Beasley, I, I, this would not be ideal for me to book. Not because I don't think they both talented. I think they both fire. I just don't see how. They go together on stage. Like, off top, I don't... You know what I mean? So, I'm not knocking it. Usually, battles like this turn out to be the better ones on the card. I will say that. Usually, when you go into it, like, huh, how the fuck this guy set up? That's usually the ones where we watch it after. Like, I'm not going to lie. These niggas got busy. So, you know what I mean? And um, it's tough because, pen-wise, everybody would say steams. But this is happening... With a crowd on the stage, and Yaana is one of them niggas that's super electrifying, knows how to work the crowd, has great charisma, you know what I mean? He has that shit. He has the it factor, you know what I mean? He has the it factor, so it's tough to get him, you know what I mean, just to get him out of there in that stage. If this is where Steam's battle the logic straight, I would have a whole different, um, a whole different prediction. Yeah, 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 that's a fact. Like, they both have to get through their material clean. Um, They both had great showings. I guess that's why this got set up. Because Your Honor had a great showing with Glue Easy, and Steams had a great showing with Eliza Stray. So I guess that's how we get here with Steams versus Your Honor. Um, I don't have a prediction, because I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if bars are going to come into play, and I will go with Steams or performance, character, is going to come into play, and then I'll go with your honor. This is like the first time I generally do not have a prediction. I don't have one. So I'm going to be a fan. I'm going to watch it, and I'll definitely tell you who won. Because just off top, I would be lying if I just sat here and made up some fake shit. Even with my IQ, I can't call this one like right off, right off back. So we're going to see what happens. Um, Speaking about what happened, Sheed happened... Versus JC. Sheed happens versus JC. I see a lot of people in the comments of the video that I posted with Sheed saying, um, yo, man, there's no way she could beat JC. Sheed is going home. Sheed is going to lose. Sheed is going to do that. And it's like, y'all don't understand as battle rap fans of the culture, you are, yeah, let, let a professional tell y'all this. Let a professional underdog tell y'all this because y'all doubt me so much. Every time y'all do that, I know I'm going to win. Because me being a competitive person, the moment niggas start talking like that and I decide to entertain 
the negative comments and all that because sometimes you need that as a battle rapper and i start reading all those you're gonna lose it's over you are you're doing a disservice to the person that you're rooting for giving the person that you're not rooting for that much ammunition like people don't know Sheed happens just had that performance like that versus true foe because niggas went so crazy on him about the nun nun shit so when y'all think y'all hurting him like oh you 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 robbed you wasn't supposed to win nun nun got robbed boom 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 y'all just gave him all the ammunition to get in his bag y'all say yeah 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 she's still losing okay i guess y'all i guess i guess niggas never seen upsets happen okay 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 <laughs> okay I'm telling y'all like this. I studied battle rap to a T. If anybody can beat JC right now, Sheet Happens is one of them people. And it has nothing to do with the rhymes. I pay attention to how niggas study the craft. The way he pays attention. Because it's, it's, it, it, all winning a battle is, a, is about figuring it out. That's all, y'all get this shit confused. Everybody, once you get to this level, comes comes up with great lines. Everybody has their own style for what they do. The whole key in winning a battle is figuring it out. So when you're dealing with a nigga that's willing to learn, a nigga that's willing to listen, a nigga that's willing to study, that means that person is able to figure it out. That's what that's what niggas don't get. When, when you have niggas that's egotistical maniacs and they full of themselves and they on top of the world and they think they got the shit all figured out and they got the game mapped out and nothing can happen to them, those people lose. Those people fall off. Those niggas get smoked. But when you got a nigga that's zoned in, locked in, that's dedicated to taking his day, to studying, to preparing, to figuring it out, that's a dangerous man. I'm telling y'all right now, see what happens is dangerous. I'm not going to sit, JC is JC, so I'm not just going to count him out and say it's going to happen. No, because it's JC. But y'all acting like this shit is far-fetched, this shit is 60-40. This shit is not 85-15, 90-10. That's what y'all doing right now. And that's where y'all going to go wrong. Because y'all making it seem like this shit is 90-10, 85-15. This shit is 60-40, with JC being the favorite. It's 60-40 right now. Because if, if we want to just keep it 100, because that's what we're here to do, C's performance versus um, True Foe was better than JC's versus Ice. Like, that's the thing. I don't I don't got favorites, so I just call it how I see it. I call it how I see it. That's all I could do. That's I call it how I see it. Sheed happens and JC is 60-40. JC is still the favorite. 60-40, though. It's not cap. Is you y'all niggas love JC, so y'all going to go with whatever he does over somebody else. It's not 80-20 either. JC was bugging, and Sheed Happens was bugging, bugging. Nigga. And I'm still saying JC is the favorite. But Sheed Happens performance in week two was the best performance out of everybody, other than Swamp. Swamp is number one, Sheed is number two. Like, th this is what I'm saying. Like I didn't grow up with Sheet Happens. I, didn't, I don't know Sheet Happens. You know what I mean? But I'm going to keep it 100. Niggas, niggas get so caught up into their favorites and who they liked and who been around longer. Niggas don't know how to keep it 100. If there's power rankings after Ultimate Madness Week 2, Swamp is number one. Sheet Happens is number two. Um, we put JC as number three. And we put Fonz as number four. Or, or, or you know what I mean? Or Fonz number three, JC, however you want to do it. Like... But we keep it 100. But in this battle, um, of course, with all that being said, I still got JC 2-1 because he's a favorite. I don't go against the work that JC put in. Just because somebody new came to the block, you still got to knock the nigga that's the champ off the block to do it. So I'm not going to jump ship and say, oh, yeah, I got um, Sheed Happens. Nah, because JC is conditioned for this. He does this shit every two weeks on a regular. He comes up with some of the craziest lines on a regular, so we're not going to disrespect what JC does. JC is one of them ones, but we're not going to disrespect what she is putting in either. We're not going to sit here and act like, oh my God, it's, it's 80 to 20. No, she happens, it's 60 40. JC the favorite. I got JC 2 1. Fonz and Swamp keeping it 100, right? 
the story that Swamp had in week two is bigger than Fonz. There's actually people that, a lot of people that had Fonz beating real sick. So Swamp beating Rum Nitty is way more impressive. It's like, oh my God, I didn't even think this could happen. You see my title on YouTube, he did the impossible. Swamp's performance on week two is higher up than Fonz. But guess what? I'm going with Fonz. I told y'all Fonz is winning the whole tournament. I told you that off rip, so y'all should already know where my prediction was going. I got Fonz. We'll see y'all in um Houston at the finals. Know what I mean? So, shout out to Swamp. Swamp is going to get crazy. For sure. Swamp got a lot of momentum going right now. He's going to get crazy. Just my opinion. In my opinion, I don't go off of my opinion. I'm going off the general consensus. Now I mean, my opinion is my opinion. My opinion is the shit Fonz be saying is so next level. That's why I call him the greatest puncher. I don't think nobody had it better, but we have to go off of just the storyline and all that. I'm being unbiased. So with that being said, I got Fonz. <laughs> now, real talk though, Swamp is gonna go crazy. I'm not, I'm not no knock to what he's about to do, but I got Fonz. Now I mean, and you know what I mean, I'm willing to take bets. So y'all can holler at me, but I got Fonz. I got the finals in Houston being Fonz versus JC. That's what it's going to be. Fonz versus JC rematch, Houston, Texas. But if Seed Happens wins, I'm not going to be surprised. And all y'all that was saying is 80-20, 80-15, I just, I, I screenshotted all y'all shits mentally. You know what I mean? So I'm going to spin the block on all y'all. I don't want to see y'all predictions change. Don't change your fucking avatar on here so you can act like a different person. Don't switch your username. Stand on what you said because that's what a lot of y'all be doing. Y'all faces be changing, but it be the same type of words. Y'all niggas ain't slick, man. Y'all niggas ain't slick. I be seeing y'all niggas come in here. Now I mean changing your avatars and all that with the same name. Like, nah, keep your name. Mental screenshots for all y'all niggas that's acting like this shit is so far-fetched. Because it's not. This battle's like, it's not 80-20. It's 60-40, like I said, man. Y'all niggas is crazy, man. Y'all niggas is crazy. I'm going to definitely open the casino because I see it so much of niggas not knowing, like, like, it's crazy though. It's crazy to watch something every day and still watch it from a, a fanatic or or from a like a biased standpoint. You know what I mean? Like we all biased. I'm biased for, you know what I mean, people that I got personal relationships with or that, you know what I mean, I was in groups with, all that type of shit. But like on the just general outlook of a battle, like some of y'all be wildin', you know? Let me y'all be wildin'. Swamp will win the fan vote even if he choked. Nah, he's not gonna win the fan vote if he choked. He's not. See, what I realized with the fan vote is, if somebody definitively gets smoked, they're gonna keep it 100. But if it's not a definitive smoke, they're gonna go with who they like. That's what the fan vote is. Eddie B, you're a troll, so, like, we can't even, like, you know what I mean? We can't even go into this listening to anything you're saying. I'm not going to lie to you, just my opinion. You're absolutely right. I apologize. That did happen. That was a good night moment. That's when I lost hope in the fan vote. At that very moment. That was a good night. That was a super good night. All I'm... Listen, I I tell it. I tip my hat off. Dispatch and Diva in the building. What's the word? I tip my hat off to the judges this week because being honest, being un unbiased, um, just being fair and keeping it a hundred with y'all. They got a tough. To, they got a tough choice on their hands. All four people left in this tournament. I can see all four of them being on no. Which means I feel like all four of them are going to come prepared 100% and it's going to be tough to make that decision this Saturday. I mean, I don't I don't see none of these niggas slacking, none of these niggas taking off, none of these niggas playing with all this money on the line. You know what I mean? I feel like it's going to be very tough. Um, 
They got to judge snake and stumbles. They not judging that battle. And there's no belt on the line. Go nine. Just my opinion in the building. But like I said, this weekend, this weekend is going to be a dope weekend. Because they added, they added, they added fire battles on the card. Snake Eyes and Stumbles on the card is fire. Um, Steams in your honor. Like, I I don't I don't like it on paper, but all, all always those battles niggas don't like on paper turn out to be crazy. Um oh they said the belt was added. Oh I'm sorry. Oh I'm sorry. I apologize. The belt is on the line. Okay. Okay, things just got more interesting. Fire. Fire. Um yeah, for all y'all that's trying to watch the face off, you're extremely late. That shit happened at twelve. Tune in with the coach at DNA. I'm sorry, I take weekends off. I have a family. Good night. You know what I mean, and you had a family too, old dog, before you got smoked. Good night. But um, real lady in the building, what's going on? <laughs> you had a family too, old dog, before you got smoked. Good night. But um, nah, T Top and um Tay Rock was already on at the beginning of the show. But them niggas add them niggas adding to the battle. With the belt, it makes it that more interesting. Like, um, yeah, I'm interested to see, but I don't think they're gonna go with the URL judges. They're gonna go with, uh, Midnight Madness judges. So, I want to see who winds up being the judge for that, cause that's that's gonna be critical. Snake Eyes versus Stumbles for the belt. Kid Slade and Ryder, oh, the belt and 2000, fire, fire, fire. Hardcore, yo, did anybody say it's really the URL judges or did, um, it's hardcore just being hardcore? Kid Slade and Ryder is fire. I wouldn't have thought of it, but I like the matchup. And, um, what's the, none, none and old red is fire too, being that they was just in the tournament and they back right away. Yeah, hardcore is being himself because nobody definitely, I, I, I know that didn't happen. I know that didn't happen. Good night, hardcore. That's you assuming. I love you though. I'm gonna call you when I get off air. Yeah, I got I gotta tap into them battles from this weekend on the Remy card. Shout out to Remy. But um I, I ain't get it. Yeah, go to track. They acting like it's twelve oh five. It's twelve fifty nine. You know what I mean? My shows is always an hour. These niggas is asking what's going on about a face off that happened when the show first came on. Good night. All the fire battles this coming weekend, yeah. Now they definitely fighting. When is the next power coming back? August. That's when Raising Canaan is coming back. Right now, I'm trying to see if I'm gonna be in the building this weekend. If I am, we definitely gonna have merch on deck. So, if you're gonna be in Atlanta this weekend, you tap it in for the event. Let me know. Holla at me. Make sure you pull up on me. Make sure you shake my hand. I mean, bring your sanitizer. Make sure you take a picture. Cop merch. We gonna have shirts on deck. Um. I think I got one crew neck set on deck, but yeah, make sure you tap in for sure. Yeah, Eddie, I'll be at Gnome too, so we definitely, you know what I mean? You're a troll, so I definitely got to salute you in person. Your troll game is, um, you know what I mean, out of this world. 